for joining me here. I wanted to talk a little bit about your job. Your whole career kind of is personalized medicine. Can you talk a little bit about how big data fits into that? Uh, yeah, sure. So I started in academia in the research world. Um, I was doing research on rat brains in the auditory <laughs> brainstem, so hearing development. Um, and throughout that time, I personally realized that for me, big picture is much more exciting than something very small and microscopic. And so I started working at SAP um, in their product management team with their technology called SAP HANA. So SAP HANA is an in-memory development platform. So what that means for someone like me is basically you can analyze big data really fast. Um, and SAP is a, quite a large company. We have about 80,000 employees, about 20 million users worldwide. And so big data for SAP is not anything new. Okay. We've been dealing with big data in um, all kinds of industries from HR to finance. And so it's a natural progression to bring the technologies and experience that SAP has as well as my background and others in my team um, to healthcare and big data and biomedicine. Can you, you know, as big data veterans, can you give us a little bit of a sense of what kind of things are on the forefront right now? What, what can we expect to see coming down the pike in the next couple of years? I think um, we'll see a lot more technology um, being weaved into healthcare mm -hmm. um, from clinicians and patients interacting, but also um, I think we'll see a lot of more ownership of patients or even consumers before they are patients being able to access their data, bring it in and work with clinicians or with their friends and peers and family. So I, as you mentioned, this stuff has been around for a while, but why do you think that it's still not really in practice? None of my patients bring me data um, except for verbally, and we've had computers around for a while. None of this is really integrated into the healthcare sphere. Why do we think it's going to be different in the next five years? I think a lot has to do with the fact that next generation sequencing for technology, for example, has um, given us this exponential uh, growth of genomics data, um, which is uh, bringing us closer to understanding genetic predisposition predispositions that people have. Um, and I also think that with the Internet of Things and the explosions of that kind of technology, I think the time is right now for healthcare to kind of be disrupted. And I think it is one of the last industries to really be disrupted by technology. It does tend to kind of lag behind everything else in that arena. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it.